So now we'll be showing how to remove the airbag and the steering wheel, but we will not remove it entirely. So uh, if you have this kind of three spoke steering wheel with this in the middle or the Amsport version which is a bit thicker and does not have all this whole does not have this uh, slot in the bottom spoke, you can just replace this trim piece with the one with the buttons. We already have that, but for the sake of the more how to sake of the video, we'll show you how to remove it. So, uh, and if you have the box airbag version, uh, you'll have to um, rotate it 45 degrees so that the box is like this, and, and then from the bottom it has two screws on the back uh, and you'll be able to reach it uh, the screw that is on the bottom side and then after that's done you'll need to place your key even if you don't have the battery uh, hooked up you can still put the key in and release the steering lock and then rotate 180 degrees to the other side so that the other screw that you didn't uh, open is on the bottom side so you can open that up and then the airbag will just come off and we'll show the rest in a second now so now the most easiest way with this steering wheel and after with the air box airbag when you remove the airbag is just remove the key put it back in if you don't want to lose it and then the steering lock will come on so uh, take a screwdriver preferably a flathead but we don't have one right now so um, this will work just fine. Then there's uh, a hole here. Uh, wait a second, let's. We can show it again here in the tip of the screwdriver. And then just insert it parallel. Now, when you push it to the right spot, you will feel a spring, and then you will be able to pull this out so that it leaves a gap like this. And then just leave it, don't press it, the, then the other side too. And then it should be like this, just pull it out. Now, these wires uh, you'll need to put something between here. So it comes off like this, and then you can pull it out. And the same with the other. And so, but we won't be showing any more of this uh, uninstall because um, it's not necessary in this video. And then, if you look here. Yeah, right there. That's good. Here are the wires that come from the the those uh, blue, white, red, and gray are the ones that come from this uh, multifunction trim piece with the buttons to the back of the plug right there. And the center one, if you don't have that, you're screwed because that's the airbag plug. So you'll need to get that. So to remove this, just remove that. Mm. You have two two torque screws, one right there, right there, and another one right in the opposite side, right there. And then you'll have two torque screws, two torque screws behind here behind here. You'll be able to take them out. Uh, these two are there uh, even if you have the, the piece that has conjoined and the M logo, the M Sport version, it, the, the two torque screws are still there. Mm, and then this whole trim piece should just 
come off and then there's here in the back there's two screws that hold these two together take that out and then you can replace this one and put the trim piece on and and then uh, if you want to remove the steering wheel in the back there's that right the back in the back here there's the no uh, yeah that's right here this big bolt you'll need to torque it out the perfectionist there's a slot there and in the steering wheel that marks where it should be and if they don't meet up it means that someone's removed it and placed it in another direction and then done the alignment if you want to uh, remedy that or, or or fix that do what you will man when you got all this together back back together all screws are torqued down this has a specific torque I don't remember what it is but um, you will have to look it up and then if everything's done every plug is back right in those are right there and this plug is in the trim piece then you just make sure that they go nicely like that and then push this to these tabs these go to these tabs then this just push it right in like that and it should have a little play like this if you don't have it means you have a wire or a connector back there that, that doesn't let you press the horn so that's not good all right so now it's all done we'll have a quick test drive to show that it works without calibration or anything and then before that we'll reconnect the battery